Hi everyone, today I'm going to explain to you what an Ubuntu screen is and how to use it. Ubuntu screen is a simple terminal multiplexer. Let me tell you why you need a screen. I have opened my terminal here and I'm going to run a command top. Top is a program that lets you know the load of your server and the programs running in your server and a lot of other details too. See, I'm going to interrupt the top command with Ctrl C and close the terminal. Now, if I reopen the terminal again, the information is lost. You won't get it. So, if you want to run something behind the scenes, you need to have a screen. If you run something in a screen, even if you close the terminal, still it will be working. So let's try it out. To make a screen, the command is screen itself. Now I have just made a screen. Now I'm inside the screen. I'm going to run top command inside the screen. <coughs> See, I'm running top here. And to get out of the screen without killing the screen, command is control A D. Control A D D for dog. And now I am out of the screen. And to list the number of screens running in my system, the command is screen minus ls. Ls to list. See, you can see one screen here running in 2235. So we have one screen, that's the screen we just made. And to get back into the screen the command is screen minus r r for rat r means reattach to the screen with the number 2235 see i got back into the screen with command screen minus r and the number of the screen top command is still running everything is running fine it is still running now i'm going to get out of the screen again control a d with control A D, I didn't kill the screen, I just got out of the screen. Now I am going to close the terminal. I have closed the terminal. Now let's try opening the terminal again. Now let's check if the screen is there. Screen minus ls. Yes, the screen is still there running into 235. To open it, screen minus r two two. 25. See, still the top command is running. And to get out, control A D. Now you must have noticed that you are identifying the screen with the number, with a random number that got generated while you created the screen. Now if you want to name a screen while creating the screen, you can do it with screen minus capital S and just name a screen let's name the screen new I have made a new screen with the name new now I'm gonna run H stop command in here H stop is more colorful than top attractive and better I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of the screen with control A D now let's list the screens screen minus ls See, right now we have two screens. First one, the unnamed screen, and the second one, the named screen. And how can you get back into the named screen? You can do this by screen minus r 2 3 i 5. The number of the screen or the name of the screen itself. See, I just got back into the screen new with its name. I'm going to get out of the screen with Ctrl A D again. The problem with the command screen minus R is if you are using screen minus R to get into the screen, no other user will be able to get into that screen. Only one user will be inside the screen at the same time. So if you want multiple users to use your screen, the command which you should use is screen minus x and the name of the screen. 
see when you have done screen minus x and you got into the screen more users can get into the screen simultaneously now i'm going to get out of the screen with control a t <coughs> now let's get more creative here i'm going to make more than one screens within the same screen let's make a new screen screen minus capital s and i'm going to name it test bed okay we have created a single screen here we have named it test bed and i'm going to run top command in here we are running top command in the screen test bed and if you want to see how many screens are running within the screen test bed the command is control a shift code control a shift code here you see only one screen zero number zero to make multiple screens within a screen the command you should use is control a c it's not like control a c it is control a c c for cat now i have just made a another screen within our main screen test bed i want to run h top here so now let's let's go and see how many screens exist inside our main screen test bed with control a shift code see we have two screens within our main screen test bed you can select it by just by using the up and down keys first screen running top second screen running edge top remember the key combinations control a shift code control a then shift code i'm going to make a third screen with control a c here i'm going to run a program of mine python sample loop this will print the name of some indian cities in blue color See this program is running, I am not going to interrupt it. I am going to see how many screens are there. Control A, Shift Code. See we have three screens within our main screen test bed. Now let's see how we can name each of these screens. I am going to get another first screen, select it, just enter. I am here. To name this screen, the command is Control A shift a you can see that i i have the control in this prompt here down i'm going to erase the name bash i'm going to name it top top itself now let's go get back into the list control a shift code see the first screen got named as top the second one control a shift a i'm going to erase bash i'm going to name it edge top and back get back into the list see the second screen got named as edge top third one control a shift a i'll name it my program see i have three named screens within our main screen test bed to get out of all the screens get out of the main screen without killing it the commanders Control A, D, D for dog. I haven't killed the screen. Let's check how many screens are there. Screen. Now I'm completely outside of all the screens. I'm in my terminal itself. I'm going to try closing the terminal, opening it again. Let's check the screens. Screen minus LS. See, we have three screens here. This is the unnamed screen, it's the screen which we created the first time. The screen new we created the second time and test that the screen we created the last time let's get back into it screen minus r or x if you want multiple users to use it and the name test pair see we are inside the screen and to check if there are multiple screens within the screen control a shift code we have multiple screens here first one is top running top command control a shift code second one is h top running h top command control a shift code 
third one is my program running my program python sample <coughs> now a lot of people have doubts in how to scroll up and down in a screen it is not as easy as you do in normal ter terminal so i'm gonna demonstrate how you can scroll in a screen i'm gonna interrupt my program with control c i just interrupted it and to scroll the command you should give us control a escape once i have given control a escape i can just scroll with up and down keys just scroll with up and down keys and to get back the control just hit enter now i can give my other commands too so we have created a screen we have created a named screen we have created a screen with multiple screens inside it we have named them and it's now the time to kill the screens let's start with killing the top screen i'm interrupting top with ctrl c if i give the command exit exit from within a screen this means i'm going to kill the screen i just hit exit see we have like two screens right now i'm going to get into python sample i'm going to exit it yes now i have only one screen that is edge top i'm gonna hit exit here too e x i t and we are completely out of the screen because we have killed all the three screens in the inside the main screen so we don't have test that right now let's check it out screen minus ls see we have lost test bed. that means we have just killed test bed. let's get back into screen minus x new try killing it with exit we have just killed new let's list it screen minus ls see we have killed it too this is how you use a screen it's a very useful tool you can use it to run anything which you don't want to kill behind the scenes you can close the terminal as long as your system is running the screen will be there and the program inside will be running thank you for watching the video bye take care